the white devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say the white race. <laughs> Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Retire Virus, and we're going to check out Tom McDonald, White Boy. Um, I got a recommendation to check out some Tom McDonald stuff from my buddy. So we'll probably throw a few of them in here and there, but we're still definitely going down the Ren track because he is flipping amazing. And uh, anyways, let's get at it and see what goes on. <laughs> I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose, and I Ooh. never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just. Oh, this song starts out strong. Holy shit! I can't feel bad for shit that I didn't do. I didn't put your head in no noose. I don't walk around with a hood on my head. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Holy shit. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just label me racist because I'm related to people who did some terrible way back before I was alive. My parents brought me. I kind of agree with that. I don't think you should label anybody until you get to know them. Just because your grandfather was racist and did terrible things with slaves and everything doesn't mean that you are now going to be racist and feel the same way as he did. So I get that in a way. Related to people who did some terrible way back before <laughs> I was alive. My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. I refuse to feel ashamed because mm -hmm. of my pretty blue eyes and not white supremacist anyone who labels me is that because of my family genetics the hatred for caucasians is so pathetic go be proud that you're black but don't hate me for some credit i'm not the white holy shit um <laughs> okay <laughs> okay okay um yeah i agree with him screw the nazis um yeah, this is a heavy song. Terrible way back before I was alive. My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. I refuse to feel ashamed because of my pretty blue eyes. And not white supremacist. Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics. The hatred for Caucasians is so pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil, neo Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say. The white race. <laughs> Obviously, we all know what was what the rhyme was supposed to be there. Um, I'm glad he didn't say it, but um, yeah, and not trying to be the but not trying to be the cop pulling the trigger. Me is that because of my family genetics. The hatred for Caucasians is so pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil, neo Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say. The white race as a whole ain't the enemy. There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively. White boy, Correct. don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, dear white boy. on some cognac sitting next to me i don't assume that every black's favorite drink is hennessy i don't dislike yeah. tanisha because her first name isn't stephanie not only is that wrong it's a waste of energy i agree your ebony 45 100 100 just because somebody's drinking something you're not gonna label them that's so that's the only drink you like or somebody you don't like their name because their name isn't right because of their skin color that doesn't make sense either it's stupid just yeah just be collective, man. It's stupid. We're all part of the human race. We all bleed red. Simple as that. If a black man is sipping on some cognac sitting next to me, I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy. I don't dislike Tanisha because her first name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a 
fucking waste of energy. Ivory or ebony. 45 or 17, we all bleed the same. Martin Luther King or Kennedy. Yep. They're angry, I'm reciting the facts. He's white and he raps. He stole the culture right from the facts. Okay, he's fire, but we lit the flame. He's siphoning gas. So f this corny little honky man, the whitey is whack. I imagine a lot of people would bug him because of his cornrows. It's interesting. 45 or 17, we all bleed the same. Martin I guess Luther it's not cornrows, sorry. Not cornrows, dreadlocks, my bad. Kennedy. They're angry, I'm reciting the facts. He's white and he raps. He stole the culture right from the facts. Okay, he's fire, but we lit the flame. He's siphoning gas. So f this corny little honky man, the whitey is wet. And honestly, it might just be braids. You letting history perpetuate the hatred within. And then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely understand that. That's not good. Um, I know Tom McDonald's also from Canada. He also came from wrestling, funny enough, if anybody didn't know that. Um, but yeah, you can't just, you can't just paint me or paint somebody with the same brush that you're painting slave owners with just because they're from the same family of that generation. Now, that being said, I'm sure there are people out there that are like that, but you don't just paint the whole, a whole race or a whole bunch of group of people or whatever, just because someone told you to, or that's how you grew up. That's just, doesn't seem right to me. I don't know. siphoning gas, so this corny little honky man, the whitey is whack. You letting history perpetuate the hatred within, and then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with. Yeah. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh you so bad. White boy. I like the symbolism with the chairs and with the desks and it just being mashed together, thrown together as if that's, he's just, everything's been thrown at him. Also, I'm a fan of the background music. It's actually pretty good. Boys, white lies. Don't tell me how to see it through my white eyes. I got a mother, a father, a sister, an auntie, an uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, mm -hmm. one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife and my baby. So go ahead and hate the races. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people. <laughs> Pray for the racist extinction, which is Father, perfect. a sister, an auntie, an uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife and my baby, so go ahead and hate the mm -hmm. racists. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone regardless and the ones who build the system just to smother you with harsh. The problem is, is that's a hard distinction to make just because you don't know. Like, it's basically like taking, making a distinction between middle class and upper class and lower class. There's not really much of a difference between maybe one wears a suit, one wears a suit with no tie, one only wears a blazer. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's a pretty hard distinction to make. The ones who want the best for everyone regardless and the ones who build the system just to smother you with hardship. Stop before you say it. I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race for things I didn't do and decisions I... This is 2018? Holy shit. Before you say it, I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race for things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make. No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave, and neither did our dads mm -hmm. or our dad's dads. Say yeah, yeah, agreed. I've never, none of my friends have ever owned slaves, and neither have our dads or our dad's dads. None of them. By demonizing my race for things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make. No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave, and neither did our dads or our dads' dads. Sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted. I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments, and I would never plot against him just because he is different. I would never judge a human for the cards he was given or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I like those lines. Those are really good lines. I would never judge a man because of his pigments. And then never judge him because of the race he was born into. Like, oh. And neither did our dads or our dads' dads. Sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed. 
is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted. I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments, and I would never plot against him just because he is different. I would never judge a human for the cards he was given or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with. White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. They're yeah. the people who monopolized the water and oil and injected your community. Which hilarious because his his girlfriend's uh, last name is Rockefeller. Mixed with white people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. They're the people who monopolized the water and oil and injected your communities with drugs that they spoil. Got no patience for Nazis. I think they're better off dead. Now fighting hatred with hatred, making the hate more intense. I don't want Three. nothing to do with either side of the fence. So don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head. Hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto. Hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so. Hate the yeah. ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies being white and being racist aren't the same man i promise no it's hard to tell the difference if i'm just being honest yeah like i was saying earlier it's hard to tell the difference man and yeah all the same and judge you profusely because yeah, the being way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies being white and being racist aren't the same man i promise no it's hard to tell the difference if i'm just being honest i deserve the chance to show you i'm not part of the problem and you owe it to yourselves we got so much in common white boy don't say that white boy oh you so bad white boy you wish you were black white boy be a white boy White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, Goddamn. dear white boy. Wow, uh, that's a heavy, heavy song. Holy crow! <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, that's a heavy topic, man. Racism is one of the biggest topics in the world. It's been around for. Hundreds and hundreds of years, obviously. Everyone knows that. Um, honestly, it was a pretty good song. And it's not bad. It says a lot. And I did watch the behind the scenes video to this as well. Before watching this, just because I wanted to know what the point was and everything. And he was saying that in his videos before this, a lot of people were calling him racist and calling him out because he was making fun of mumble rappers and a lot a big proportion of mumble rappers are of uh, darker complexion and so then a lot of people were like oh well that's racist you're this you're that you're this but no just because you're making fun of a genre and it just happens to be predominantly black or predominantly asian or predominantly white or whatever ethnic background doesn't mean you're making fun of that ethnic group it just means you're making fun of that music uh, so people have a hard time making that distinction and uh anyways if you like this video and you want to see more give her a like give her a thumbs up have a good one welcome to my channel it's about to go down get ready for some reactions gonna turn your world around if you're looking for the hottest you're my right place we're gonna break it down put a smile on your face react right now everybody get hyped Hit that subscribe, turn up the vibe, react right now, let's make some noise, come on and join us, it's time to enjoy.